earlier this year is the first time I actually could feel touching my daughter's hand with this prosthetic hand because of the sensory feedback. I was a U.S. Army infantryman. I deployed to Iraq with the Illinois National Guard, the 33rd Infantry Brigade. On October 15, 2005, we hit a roadside bomb where it detonated under our vehicle. It blew the engine out of the truck. I broke my jaw, seven spots. I was mild traumatic brain injury. And I lost my arm below the elbow. When I got back from Iraq, I got back to normal life. I got my undergrad, I had two children as a stay-at-home dad. Fortunately, I got linked up with this, this promising PhD student who had this great idea for a prosthetic named Adil Akhtar and his, his company called Psyonic. This is something that I've wanted to do my entire life, ever since I was seven years old. My parents are from Pakistan. I was visiting, and that's the first time I met someone with a limb difference. She was my age, missing her right leg and using a tree branch as a crotch, and that's what inspired me to want to go into this field. At Psyonic, we develop advanced bionic limbs that are affordable and accessible to everyone. We would not have been able to create this hand unless we had the manufacturing in-house with the Formlabs printers. And it's really been a game changer for not just us as a business, but also for the industry as a whole. Our patients, what they're looking to do is just do their normal activities of daily living, right? So just feeding themselves, tying their shoelaces, going to the gym and working out. A lot of the devices that are out there, you couldn't even do some of those simple tasks. It's sort of the small things, things that you wouldn't think that you would miss. It's those things that you take for granted a lot of times. The ability to know that you have something in your right hand. I can actually drive with this on, on the car and just steer. I have sensory feedback that tells me how hard I'm gripping, if I even have something, and if I crush it or not. There's no way we could have competed with other prosthetics companies if we had to abide by purely traditional manufacturing. 3D printing, especially the Formlabs 3D printers, has come in absolutely critical for that development process for a startup our size. While some of the 3D printing we do with SLA printing is for prototypes, a lot of it is in fact for end-use product. Now, this is especially true of the Tough 1500 resin, which is still superior to any other 3D printed item we could make in terms of strength, resolution, physical properties, thermal resistance, impact resistance. The Tough 1500 is honestly the best thing we found and we continue to use it in all our commercial devices. Some of the biggest challenges we faced is how do we make this hand still low cost for us to manufacture but more durable than anything else that's out there. Before our hand came along, what we call a multi-articulated hand where all the fingers can move individually, it was only covered by about 10% of insurers in the US. By getting it covered under Medicare, we've expanded that access to 75% of patients who can now afford the most advanced bionic hand in the world. We use clear resin to mold at least one silicone part, primarily the silicone fingers and silicone thumb. The surface finish needs to be as smooth as possible. And we found that we get the smoothest surface finish from running it at the 25 micron resolution size. With FDM printed molds, molded items would end up with these odd striated striped textures on top. Once we switched over to using clear resin, we were able to obtain a much smoother surface finish because of the much higher resolution. The fact that we can actually manufacture everything in-house has been critical to our operation. We've innovated a lot of the manufacturing techniques for making those processes. If we didn't have these printers in-house, if we had to go to third party or export them, it would slow our development and iteration process dramatically. The fact that we're able to design a part in CAD, take it to our printer, print it within a day, and have it come off means our iterations can move so quickly and our testing can be rapidly accelerated. I'm not sure we would have been able to function if we had to wait a week for parts to come back. We wouldn't have been able to develop as fast as we could have, and we wouldn't have been able to get to where we are today. So amazing to see people get back part of what they've lost. And we've had prosthetic patients actually tell us like it feels like a part of them has come back to life. That they're able to do things that they were never able to do as their amputation. They haven't stopped innovating in the technology and upgrading what needs to be done. They're trying to figure out how can we improve what we have. Sergeant Anderson has tried basically every prototype that we've ever made of the Ability Hand over the last seven years, and he has been critical to the, the design of this because if it can survive him, then we know it can survive anyone.